Welcome to Humans, a Documentary, where we explore human social behavior using frameworks from psychology, economics, neuroscience, and game theory. I'm your host, Kyle Leshen, and we will delve into the complexities of human interaction in a way that is not only interdisciplinary, but also affords me a polite way to signal that I'm competent and knowledgeable across multiple domains. This is going to be a disaster. Kyle knows nothing about these fields, except for what he's gleaned from a superficial scanning of blogs, oversimplified, comfortably contrarian TEDx talks, uh, and pop psychology at airport bookstores. Well, that's not actually true. I don't read books on pop psychology. I read the online reviews of books on pop psychology. Although, if you want to get technical about it, I don't even read those. I read the comment sections of online reviews of pop psychology books. Uh, but that's where you find the material summarized at an appropriate level for cocktail party conversations. And that's, that's the ultimate goal. Also, I majored in economics. Kyle majored in economics, which is what you study if you're interested in humans, but have never actually seen one. Contrast that with psychology where we need to observe a phenomenon in at least eight undergraduate volunteers before we make sweeping conclusions about the human psyche. When I opened that econ textbook, it was the first time I had ever seen someone like me represented in literature, a utility maximizing rational agent. These are my utils. When I succeed, the level rises, and when I fail, or reality falls short of expectation, the level drops precipitously. I have about a thousand now, which is the highest it's been since the incident. Ah, yes, the incident. Well, that's my second concern. He has something to prove. Kyle's a disgraced magician, you know. In 2017, he was booted off America's Got Talent in an early round, which is particularly devastating to him, as the guest judge in that episode was his hero, DJ Khaled. His whole life started to revolve around pleasing the good DJ, until Kyle became the first person in history to develop a crippling addiction to the mildly relaxing green tea extract L-theanine. As a Kyle psychologist, my worry is that this show is a desperate attempt to reclaim status, and you can bet that Kyle's explanations are going to be a lot more complicated than they need to be. Uh, Mike, Mike, can you um, not cut to him anymore? He's the executive producer. He can do anything he wants. I don't think he is. Yes, he is. Uh, well, can you just keep the camera on me for a little bit? My third concern is that Kyle's on the autism spectrum. He has Asperger's, which means he has difficulty reading social cues and understanding other people's motivations. And if I may just break the fourth wall temporarily, this is a diagnosis that Kyle received in real life, not just in this fictitious world. And he was diagnosed by a certified professional this isn't one of his many self-diagnosed, attention-seeking, identity-sculpting diseases that he has littering his Tumblr profile. This isn't an offensive caricature, but rather an empowered reclaiming of stereotypes to explore a lifetime's worth of awkwardness. Now, people with Asperger's aren't unobservant. In fact, quite the opposite. They just notice different things. The social world is filled with customs that are actually quite strange upon close inspection. Why do we shake hands when we see each other? Why do we bray and respirate when amused? When do you end a conversation? What level of eye contact is too little or too much? Why do people feel the need to denigrate media that brings joy to the masses? Why do people feel the need to signal their credentials? Also, I majored in economics. Majored in economics. Majored in economics. My point is that there are thousands of norms that guide the day to day, but they're so intuitive to us that they're invisible. We never notice them, but not to someone with Asperger's because they have to claw their way to those insights. It's like how immigrants oftentimes notice things about a culture that locals take for granted. And Aspies are like immigrants to the social world. So perhaps 
there is some promise to this series. But given what we've explored, probably not. I'm at the low point of my hero's journey, stage seven to be precise. But I will not give up because I never give up. I will keep going. I will always keep going because the job of the artist is never finished. There is always more work to do. I now plunge forward fueled by both resentment and status concerns, the two drives behind any great teacher. To make my character somewhat more sympathetic, I'm going to add in a plausibly altruistic motivation, and that is to help my fellow Aspies. Above all, we hate the implied and the unsaid, and that is the entire social world. So over the course of this series, I will attempt to document the laws that govern the social sphere. We're going to talk about fashion, reciprocity, etiquette, compliments, humble bragging, real bragging, and personal space. We'll interview psychologists, economists, think piece writers, comedians, entities throughout the animal kingdom, and even beyond. We'll start with what is perhaps the most puzzling topic of all, humor. What is humor? What makes something funny? What makes something offensive? What can sociology, evolution, and game theory tell us about laughter and taboos? We'll dissect this frog in the next episode of Humans, a documentary. And now I must go to do something. It would be tacky for Kyle to directly ask you to subscribe to his channel or to join his Patreon, but I can do so without any social penalty. The links are below.